Hello, friends. Of course, we're here with you, welcoming you on and letting you know it's time for Brunch the Live. Fuel testing, even though it's a little bit more hydration today. We know that feeling hydration and beyond can be a bit of a test and experience. So we're going to do the legwork for you, giving our unfiltered, unsponsored, and of course, very shy, bashful opinions. Of course, uh, Coach Shelby's always coming in clutch when it comes to those reserving her opinion kind of things. So, Oh, yes. I'm so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> so Coach, are you ready to have some fun and get right into it? I am because... I'm mostly really, I am really excited at what these are going to taste like. I'm eyeing them. You would think that we were at a bar setup. That's what it looks like to me is like when you're going on one of those really big weekend night outs and you have all the different beverages. Not that I did that in my heyday, but still. I would wholeheartedly agree. There's a lot of, there's a lot of bottles in the club kind of a thing. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna we're gonna bend it out in the club. Is that what the kids say? I don't know. We've already established that we are not on fleek and we're cringe. So we're just gonna assume this is what a night out at the club. You did more clubbing in your day, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to you. Yeah, I think this looks about right. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of liquids of questionable varieties and and yeah, but we uh we're gonna do this. Why don't we get so nervous? I think we're afraid of having the tummy trouble more than anything. I really, 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 really am. That's for sure the case on my side of things. But with that said, Coach, should we go ahead and get right into it, you think? Let's do it. Let's have some fun because really with summer training, just when you think you drink enough water, you're not. And uh, we've already established we're salty sweaters. So we do have to make sure that we're drinking enough and there's always room for improvement. So yeah, what's what's first up with yours? Well, this I think is the only one that we're not going to have a similar or comparable option because we just located different things. So I'm gonna go with caffeine right out of the gate with a little fast twitch. <laughs> I feel like I need readers. I'm looking at it. Uh, fast Twitch Ignites Power. It's a quote unquote energy drink. It is made by Gatorade from our friends at University of Florida, of course. This flavor is strawberry well, watermelon. And I think out of all of the ones that I purchased, this was probably per unit the most expensive because you only get one, but it was more inexpensive if you are on a run and need to pop on into maybe a convenience store or a drug store and grabbing one of these is just a couple bucks. And nowadays I feel like you can Apple pay or pay with your Garmin. So that's what I have on my side of things. And it's 10 calories for folks that care, carbohydrates, zero sodium, 160 and 200 milligrams of caffeine in the entire bottle. I love the, for those who care, <laughs> that's, yeah, I, in my heyday, all I used was Gatorade, to be honest. I feel like everybody starting out uses Gatorade. My first up is going to be Goo Drink Tabs for hydration, my little, my little satchel. And I do like these because I can throw them in my purse and have them even on not on running times. Mm -hmm. I I am, I do lean more towards the satchels or the tabs just because in all honesty, I don't want to carry around a huge bottle. I'd much rather be able to just grab and go, but I this is strawberry lemonade flavored. Again, for those who care, 10 calories. <laughs> I didn't know that they were called satchels for the record. I mean, I don't know if that's the technical term, but there's, there's satchels, sachets. What's, what's, is that not the word? What do you call them? Packets? Yeah, that's exactly what I call them. I think that's on the outside, but satchels is such a cool word for it. I, I thought I get it from uh, the hangover, which is actually really appropriate considering we're hydrating, but he is, it's a satchel. When he says it's like the man purse, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but this is, this is the goo. This is the tablet. It has 10 calories. Uh, sodium is 320, carb is three, total sugar is one, and has 55 grams of potassium. So if you don't want to carry a banana, got some potassium for you. But I've never tried this one. Have you ever tried the Gatorade one? Uh, No, I don't think I've tried any of the ones that we have today. Well, 
<laughs> one of them I've tried. We'll talk about that one later. Stop it. Yeah, we're not talking. <laughs> that's, we just will talk about Bruno. I All swear right, that yeah, came to mind. I, uh, I have my little, my little cup. I look very dignified rubbing or not rubbing, <laughs> stirring. We're rubbing satchels here, guys. We're totally off the walls. I feel like the live brings a different component, but I I think it's a little a little bit less suitable for work. But we will we'll keep it we'll keep it family friendly. So uh, all right, so uh, cheers. I feel like your sister's gonna be so proud of you because you didn't use any disposable bottles in the making of this, did you? I did not. Okay. I have I have two hydro flasks, and then I do have two services. I am very proud of you. I used all convenience plastic bottle. Don't tell your sister, but buen provecho and cheers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very sweet. It's not bad. Yeah. Mine tastes You're just sweet. Yes. It tastes like jello. So like if they took a packet of Ew. jello, I like jello. I like I jello. Jello, not jealous over here. So, what's yours it's taste good. like? Uh, strawberry lemonade. No, it's not sweet. It's pretty good. Um, obviously, we're not, or at least I'm not with my tablets. It's supposed to go into 16 ounces of water. I took half of the tablet and did not do 16 ounces of water. Okay. But it's decent. It has a little bit more aftertaste than I like. I'm not a big aftertaste person. Um, one of the options coming up, I use all the time and I don't get an aftertaste. This one has a little bit of that, dare I say, diety yes. aftertaste. Like, you yeah. know, diet coat. Like the S part of me, like that fake sweetener. Yeah, I have a little bit of that as well going on with this Gatorade. Um, and I'm yeah, I sure... mean, it's, it's decent. I'm sure on the run, I probably that. wouldn't notice. I think right now with how hot it is, did you literally, do you feel like it became from spring to way crazy swamp weather overnight because I know that it was kind of warming up, but what it's been in the past week has been absolutely like nauseatingly hot and humid. Wait, wait you got spring weather? I, I mean, missed that completely. I, thought, I think that in the 80s and 90s, it's totally still spring weather for us here in Florida, but literally my car was registering 106 on Friday and last night at 7 p.m. it was still 93 degrees and so sticky. So I saw that i went out for a run at about 9 30 last night because luna was bouncing off the walls and she needed a run in her life and it was so swampy yeah it was not enjoyable so yeah basically we're, we're sweating all the time like we're on a run but yeah i feel like if i was parched on a run and needed that needed this the aftertaste isn't as bad as I would say. I wouldn't take this on the go, like running errands around town is my hydration of choice, but it's decent. I don't I don't really have too much too much to complain about, which is rare. So we have Kirsten in the chat saying that she has found that fast twitch is while sweet, she does find that it's the cheapest one at the convenience store to grab. And it's also the smaller one. Like it's, that's what I love about this. I could throw this in my pocket and keep running versus some of the other Gatorades or Powerades I think are huge. They're such like 36 ounces or just too big. <laughs> you put that in your pocket? Yeah, I could totally put this in my pocket. And yes, I got the Indowendo as well. Cause we're again, this is a not safe for work episode and you did really well with trying to stifle the laughter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Back on up. So we, uh, I, I would say that yes, fast twitch would probably be something that I would pick up at a convenience store on the run and I would enjoy it quite a bit. So strawberry watermelons yeah. got my vote. Yeah. And the strawberry watermelon goo, um, I saw Kirsten saying that she hasn't seen them. I've seen them at my local running stores and even some of the chain running stores. I will say I don't find them as prevalent of availability, mm -hmm. but again, online shopping saves lives and time and gas well our car gas not really emissions gas but that's a whole other topic so yeah not not bad decent okay it's 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 good so I'll take this it. one may be interesting as we do our top five countdown like what is her number one because i don't think we're gonna have any really overtly bad ones except for the one listen <laughs> The last one is going to be horrible, but we'll move on to the next one. Okay. So this one is Gatorade Zero, the Glacial Cherry, which I like that we're kind of giving an option. And we specifically picked this one because 
even if you might not care about sugars and everything, there are some people who have to be mindful mm -hmm. for dietary restrictions, dietary needs. So being mindful of that. And these were super convenient to find though. These were at Walmart for me. I saw them at Publix as well. Ironically, these this was the hardest one for me to find. I went to five stores really? to locate these. Yes. And I wondered too, if this goes back to you, different areas are going to have different flavors. And sometimes it's just what's most popular in that area. So Glacier Freeze was hard for me to find. But what I loved about it is that it's clear and generally when I think of anything cherry flavored, I think of a, like a red dye and a red dye can make me feel a little icky, but this was clear and I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah, and this was um, 10, this says packets, 10 satchels, um, five calories, 230 in sodium, carbs two, no sugar, obviously, 70 of potassium. So higher on the potassium level. Okay. But they were really, they're really nice. I would put this in my pocket. You would? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show the box for folks just in case they're looking at it or looking for it. So when I did finally find it, there were several different flavors. Uh, but yes, I, where was yours actually when you went to the convenience or the, the different stores? Did you find it? So both of times I found it when I was actively looking for it were near like the drink mixes, like the tea mixes. Interesting. The, the Arnold Palmer's, the everyday, um, I don't drink a lot of them, but the, the lemonade packets and everything, they were all right there. They were not in a dedicated sports section of any kind. Okay, so that could be maybe where I had difficulty locating them then because I was with the prepared Gatorade and assumed that the mixes would be with the prepared Gatorade. Okay. Yeah, no, I did not. I went fully for because my husband drinks those Arnold Palmers, which if anybody doesn't know, it's half tea, half lemonade. And so I go over there quite often. And that's where these were, as well as the liquid IV that we'll be doing. The only ones that I had to actively look at for a sport portion was the goo. And then later on, we're going to be doing the noon, which depending on where you go, again different that one usually is in the sports area but we'll we'll touch on that but i'm excited i don't usually go with the zero sugars because oftentimes they do have the um Sweeteners. artificial sugars mm -hmm. so i'm excited that this one's truly a no sugar versus the splendas or, or anything and that's just a taste preference for me okay so are you ready to cheers this up my friend D does your smell weird or is it just mine they all smelled weird when I prepared them um, because they have that little bit oh, of like fine yeah. mist that kind of gets into your nostrils, but. Um, yeah, do not smell the tabs without them being in liquid that you'll never, you'll never eat them. Okay, well, let's not eat them okay. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. But I'm gonna have another question about that, but we'll see. Okay, mm -mm. this is exactly what I would want after while I'm on the run. This is like, mm -mm. what? I'm sorry. I just did a spit take. I'm sorry for everybody watching this. Oh my God. That is disgusting. I love it. I love that it's saltier and I like the flavor profile. Yes. It's got way more sodium. This is absolutely what I would go for. Oh God. You're weird. You're weird. It's a hot run. <laughs> Think about when you're oh, out there sweating. <laughs> nope. Nope. This, I would have to have ice cold. I think to even oh. remotely think about it what okay so what's off-putting to you is it the, <laughs> i just say everything okay yes but is it specifically the flip does it is it reminiscent of cough syrup is it what what does it give you that you don't like because i actually really enjoy the saltiness of it i think as weird as this is gonna sound coming from me team captain of savory i think i actually miss the sweetness interesting other than that it's very bland tasting mm -hmm. like I get the salt like it is like a salt lick which on the run perfectly great but I would need it ice cold I think to counteract not having the sweetness well first of all I should make I think that we could honestly say that probably all of these ice cold will taste better than or even just 
cold versus room temperature. So there is something to say about that. I'm going to go and talk about pricing for a little bit because I know that that does play into people's decision making. So for the packet of 10, it's $6.93 is what I paid at my local store. And I see that it's actually the exact same cost on Amazon. According to Amazon, it's currently on sale. It's usually a dollar more, but you could also get bigger packs if you end up enjoying it. Um, I'm telling you folks, I like it. I like the fact that it tastes crisper, saltier, not as sweet. Yeah, see, I'm missing I'm missing the sugar a little bit just to have it kind of, and I did all of these at room temperature, mostly because no matter how much I love my hydration bottles, they don't really stay cold. Um, unless you freeze them and then let them thaw. So I wanted to have more of that realistic of what it's gonna taste like, but it's convenient. I will say that, at least for me to find, I could find Gatorade anywhere to where, depending, depending on where you are geographically, you might not have a running store readily accessible to you. So, yeah, no, it's a no for me, dog. Okay, well, it's I can't it's, I can't even try to. I like both of them so much. This would probably at this point I'm not gonna rank them quite yet, but yes, I really enjoy it. I also think that there's something to be said about the fact that for folks that are starting to have some hotter temperatures, or if you're already down in those hotter states like we are here in Florida. Again, we've mentioned it in the past, we're going to keep mentioning it, freezing these bottles and letting them thaw on your run, really, especially your long runs, is so good. Not only does it feel good on your body to actually have those hydration bottles kind of thawing and cooling you down a little bit, but it just tastes so much better than lukewarm or even hot when you get to it. Ugh, I hate that. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> for the, I'm going to share a tip, though, for the ladies out there that do run with sports bras. Um, one of the local runners actually does freeze a water bottle. Uh, she uses a plastic one, freezes it, and then tucks it in the back part of her sports bra. Mm -hmm. So it keeps her back cool, and then the body heat thaws it. Yep. So when she's ready for her hydration, it's it's liquid. Yes. Absolutely. So, Same here. Listen, we gotta make we've gotta make the testicular area work for us. So let's let's multi-use that up. Okay. Let, but we're not we're not tucking it in into our testicular area. We're tucking it into the back. <laughs> listen, I have to wear a sports bra. I'm making that sports bra work. For Girl, it. you wanna wear a sports bra. Trust me. I you do not want to go for a run with that one. Anywho. I have, and it hurts. Yeah, it does not feel good. Okay, so we're we're making our way to our third one on the list. Popping bottles as this we continue doesn't... rolling through. Have you had this before? <laughs> no, but I ha my husband loves liquid IV. Okay. He he drinks it. He likes it when he goes fishing because he gets heated and all that goodness. I have heated. to say this is just... He gets heated. Okay. Um, I, I just get heated from normal everyday life. But this doesn't smell horrible. Uh, I didn't particularly like the smell of this one. But we are so polar opposite. Yeah, it reminds me of something else that I... Tra okay, so there's also like the facts that whenever I've trained with something and I use it for the entire training cycle, by the time I'm done with that training cycle, I can no longer consume that product. So Fair enough. That could be part of it. This does remind me of a previous training cycle a lemon lime scratch but again i love that it's clear i mine's not clear there's, well i mean it's like like it looks like salt water like if you were to capture no salt. mine looks like mine looks like pee to be honest really and you got lemon yeah. lime and did you get the hydration yeah. multiplier what'd you get yeah how was ours different color that's bizarro yours is super yellow what does that say about my <laughs> I'm shocked, to be honest. Shocked and appalled. <laughs> I don't know why mine's yellow. I'm a little worried. If we have folks that have had liquid IV lemon lime hydration multiplier, can you let us know? Has it been clear for you? Has it been yellow? But neither here nor there. Mine's definitely clear in the ingredients. It's one stick or one pouch, whatever you want to call it. I thought was really big. I don't know about you, coach, but it's a big, it it's is. a big sack. It's like a little too big. But I keep going back to that, but that's true. I thought it was a this, lot of- This is six only, too. Six in a box. Oh, I got a, I think I got a bigger pack. I got 10 and for the stick, it has the 45 calories. Of course, all of it's from carbs, 11 grams of carbohydrates. 
As far as electrolytes and vitamins, it has quite a bit of that too, including niacin, which I'm curious if the niacin will have any kind of a flush feeling. Niacin can create flush feelings for some folks. So that's something to take into consideration. Kirsten but... is really concerning me though. She says it should not be yellow. Oh, ooh. So that's up to you, coach, if you want to give it a try. <laughs> Do you have another packet oh. you could maybe use? Oh, you know what it is? No, I messed up the cups. <laughs> I was wondering that. <laughs> uh, no, okay. I labeled good. one because I, I was worried about that. Of this one. Okay, this is where the single use would have come in handy. Thank you, PSA. It's fine. That's my next one. Nope, mine's clear. We got this, guys. Okay, okay. We we're we're good to go. So, Coach, of all the ones I purchased, this was the most expensive. I was shocked by how expensive it was. Yeah, it is expensive. Okay, I did again. I found it everywhere. But liquid IV is expensive. They do sell it at Costco though. So if it's something you like, definitely consider Costco. I don't know if they have it at BJ's. Okay, I, I don't know. I didn't go to a big box store. I did see it everywhere. Uh, what I find fascinating about liquid IV is that it's become a big hangover cure. People love it for hangover cure. I mean, I don't drink, but I'm sure it probably would be. Yeah, I would think so too, just based off of all the electrolytes it has in it. Okay, we I feel like we've talked enough because we're trying to delay it. You ready to make this happen? Yeah, this has have a lot of sugar, I will say. 11 grams. Yep. That's, that's, but it is, that's a lot. But it is the biggest packet. So if we were to do volume to others, it may not necessarily be that much more. It's just that it's a bigger packet. So with that said, again, cheers and cheers. Yeah, no. Who wants uh, nine unopened satchels of lemon lime IV? Because I don't see myself using that ever again. That is sweet. That's I can see why my husband like it because he is definitely team sweet. This is really, really sweet. But I don't hate it. Like, I don't like the sweetness of it. It tastes like a yellow starburst to me. No, it does not. I, yeah. uh, yellow starbursts all over the world are offended that you would possibly quantify them and describe them as liquid IV. That's uh-uh, no. It is salty, which I think is good, but it's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite, but listen, after that Gatorade Zero, I would take this in a heartbeat. Oh, I like the Gatorade Zero a lot more. A lot more. I I, I always look for multi-purposeful ones, and I think that's why I do gravitate towards one of the other brands, because I wouldn't only do this on the run. If I'm gonna spend some money on the hydration, I tend to only use things that I can enjoy on or off the run because that's where I feel like I'm gonna get the most bang for my buck. Interesting. Um, since I don't, I like to make sure I'm hydrating before and after, I tend to use them more on and or off the run than on the run. Um, that's for me, my personal preference. Mm -hmm. So this one would probably be what I would only use on the run. Did you tell me that you remember how much the cost was when you were at Costco for this? Um, I don't remember the exact cost of the big bag, um, but they they were limited in flavors. I think they only had the berry one, which I'm not a big berry person. Okay, so I pulled up online. It shows like there, of course, it varies, but it, there's 30 in it. And it looks like for my zip code, the price for 30 liquid IV would be. I don't know. I'm showing $29.99. Really? That's not bad because then it becomes basically a dollar a sachet. That's 20, that, this one's only 24. Oh, is it? Satchels. I'm showing the one from Costco that I pulled up online was 30 in the bag, but neither here nor Different there. flavors it looks like. So if it's something you like, I would definitely make friends with somebody with a Costco membership or a big box store membership if you don't have one yourself. Cause I want to say off the top of my head, I think this was like $8. Mine was $24 for... 10, 20, how many in here? For 10. I think that's extraordinary, expensively crazy, especially since there's other products I that I enjoy six. much more. Yeah, and this was six, uh, six satchels. So yeah, I mean, in a pinch, yes, 
but my husband will probably finish these for me. Yeah, I I think that I would have to be hungover to consume that, <laughs> to be honest. So please Venmo shot money to Christine <laughs> so we can make her get through that entire. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'll have friends that could have it. Um, I, Joe is making a joke in, in our chat, which I love. It cracks me up. If it's if going off of the color of your previous drink there, he's saying two yellow means of dehydration, but that is a great time to remind folks that yes, your hydration levels uh, best indicated by the color of your urine, just in case you have, but being mindful that certain medications may change that a little bit or certain supplements and vitamins. All right, so we're gonna continue rolling on through, Coach. You ready? Yes, I have the right one this time, everybody. You do? Never fear. Okay, I, I do. do. Okay, so the next one up is, this is your jam. This is your, like you, you have more of these than I think I have like variety of glitter in my house. Yes. So my go-to, I will make no qualms about it. I have a noon problem. I have lots of lots of noon. This is not my whole stash. This is my hydration supplement of choice. Okay. I love it. I only like the tabs though. I do not like the powders. I've actually had a very long conversation with one of my athletes about this and she too does not like the powdered version. They only like the tablet version. Okay. So the last time that I consumed noon was on a run about 11 years ago. And my tummy got flipped so much that I never, ever had it since then. Really? Yup. So this will be my first time having noon in over a decade. We're actually in a completely new millennium, I guess, at this point. So it'll be interesting. Um, Kristen's also giving us a little bit of tips. She's saying that mixing these in with a bit more water does help if they taste a little too concentrated. And Sally's saying that the liquid IV, she gets the one singular packet whenever she needs to grab it. And it's about $2 at her local store. So good to know if you don't want to have $25 investment of packets you're not going to consume again. <laughs> we're just, you know, we're hemorrhaging money to figure out what we like and what we don't like. But the I find it interesting that noon hurts your stomach because it never has hurt mine. And I have a very sensitive stomach. Mm -hmm. um, the flavor that you have is actually what I used on my marathon, during my marathon. So it does. It's a pretty color. It does. It has a slight pale pink and it's the strawberry lemonade. I don't remember the cost of it. I think I too was a little surprised by the cost. I think it was $8 for 10 of the tablets. And I did put in a full tablet, so I'm not sure if that's gonna, maybe that's what potentially flipped my stomach a little bit. I have found them cheaper at Whole Foods specifically. They're about seven and change, but they oftentimes will have discounts and sales, especially for Prime members. Shout out to Amazon Prime. Love to hate them, but hate to love them. Um, but these also too on the site, they're always on sale usually. So I, I usually have the daily hydration. They also have the sport, which is what you're having right now. And they have vitamins with caffeine, without caffeine, immunity. You can tell I really like all of mm -hmm. these. And then they have a rest one. The rest one is disgusting unless you put it in hot water and add a bunch of lemon to it, which I happen to love. Okay. So we've got quite a bit. Noon has brought, I feel like Noon brings the boys to the yard or at least the runners because we've got it hot and heavy in the chat. Folks are discussing Noon. We've got Sarah saying she loves Noon, but not on the run. So Sarah, if you get a chance to let us know why that is, she consumes it pre and post. Does it flip your tummy or do you feel like it just doesn't hydrate you well on the run? And Amanda is saying that I picked a good flavor. Strawberry lemonade is her absolute favorite flavor. So yes, I think I'm ready. It is the best. I have not tried this flavor before. This is the vitamins with caffeine, and this is a ginger lemonade. Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds like something Which I would totally have. Which is why it's yellow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's saying the Kona Cola seasonal is number one, uh -huh. and I've been told that it tastes like flat soda, okay. which on the run people love. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Noon's getting a lot of love in the comments. For well, sure. Cheers to that, yeah. everybody. Yep, still don't like it. Mm -mm. No, this mm. is horrible. <laughs> really? Yes. 
We are so different when it comes to our tastes. Yeah, things. our taste buds like literally are just in completely different hemispheres. Um, no, I do not like it at all. You don't like mm-hmm. it, Sam? I am no. not in a house, not with a mouse. <laughs> Definitely not in a box or with a fox. And I love foxes, so it says a lot. What don't you like about it? It it feels a little effervescent to me, which to me is reminiscent of like an Alka Seltzer. And I love carbonated water for the record. I love sparkling so it, or sparkling waters, but this is a little too effervescent. And it tastes um, the effervescence creates almost like a tingle prick, which I don't like. And that does this have niacin in it as well? I'm gonna look. That's a great question. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm double checking. It does have stevia leaf, which is probably why you don't mind the taste as much, Coach, because out of all of the fake sweeteners, stevia leaf is probably one of the better tasting ones. I don't see that it has niacin, but that's what it tastes like to me. Like I, I like it. I don't usually drink the caffeine. I had gotten this one on a whim, but I actually. One thing Noon does is they make mocktails and cocktails with theirs. I would put some ginger beer in this, mm, and that would that probably be a yum. really good cocktail. I love ginger. Off the run, um, talking about off the run, I do put it in sparkling water. I usually add either the daily hydration or the immunity to sparkling water with a bit of elderberry syrup, Ooh. and that goes down really, really nicely. So we've got. Cool Runnings Joe, who's actually going to be one of our incredible guests in our upcoming podcast episode. It's going to be released in a few days saying this is such great practical uh, advice that remember at races or large races, noon and Gatorade are usually provided, but they're mixed because they get the big, big pouches of them. So the strength and consistency can vary. So if you are practicing for your actual race with the hydration that you know will be there, it is good to know that it still may be a little different than what you consume. So maybe varying it during your training is a good idea. And that's a really good point too, especially for the bigger races check what fuel as well as what hydration is going to be offered. It's not a bad idea, especially if you're still figuring out what works for you to lean into what's going to be provided and test that first and foremost, because it does take out the whole other X factor of carrying your own or worrying about in Christine's case, if she drops it while going from one corral to another. Right. So I, again, stranger danger for me, I will only take from actual stations but even though i had to laugh after we did the fuel tasting with the jelly beans that was what they had at run i Disney. know after i said and you were so excited <laughs> yes well I, it's because i didn't have any fuel f- with me i am curious because you talked a little bit about like your call to ultras and you love the fact that they have like real food at ultras would you eat the real food at the ultras because it's just well, regular yeah, fo- real station they're, they're not really real station at ultras or trail runs like it's kind of like just a random table set up in the middle of the woods staffed by just random people who bring like a potluck of food. Are you trying to ruin this for me? <laughs> that's my experience of the trail runs that I've done or trail races that I've done. And I think that's what I see when I like read in the different ultra running communities. I don't think it's like the actual race director gets out there and, and makes all of those things at those aid stations. It's a lot of like bowls of chips and bowls of M&Ms. Oh, just... no, 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 no. I will not. It's my sweaty, you know what hand all up in there. You know, they went to the bathroom on the trail. You know that their hands are not clean. That's it. Nope. Okay. Sorry. This is how you build your immunity. Oh. Like you don't need new immunity. You build your immunity by using the random stranger danger bowl. <laughs> do you want me to just go lick a toilet as well? Like, what do you want from my life? Uh, <laughs> All right. I think we've talked around quite a few of these because I'm helping to delay for you the inevitable, but I do want to bring up a couple of comments that are in the chat as well. We've got um, Kira here saying she just likes plain old water. And I, I agree. Some, some days just cold water is all I could think about on my run. And I drink room temperature water the rest of the time, but when it's a run, I do actually like the cooler, wa- uh, cooler water for sure. Let's see what else we have. Gray eyed girl. I love that. Likes that ambient temperature. How cool gray eyed girl calling it ambient instead of room temperature. (laughs) We're fancy up at brunch. For sure. Okay, coach, I helped delay this as long as possible. Let's get to it. Let's talk about the fifth option. 
This one, literally Christine messaged me and I said, ew, let's do it. Because I've <laughs> always been really interested in it. And fun fact, they had, okay, I'm gonna not be around the bushes, pickle juice. And I actually was first introduced to it at my first marathon when I went to pick up my packet. And my mom, who's not a runner, is not ever been a runner, it sits there and is like really excited about it and she tries it. Meanwhile, I'm like, no, I'm not getting anywhere near it. And we talked about it last night as I was getting everything together and she was, it really wasn't that bad. And I said, okay, you're gonna go on record saying that you like it because I'm sure that's where our similarities are going it's to. seriously not bad. So now I will make these like disclaimers. I do like pickles. I love vinegar. I love pickled everything. Like I pickle, I quick pickle onions. I quick pickle beets. I love pickling period. But oh, I like that too. Then I can't imagine why you won't like this. However, I don't just sip pickle juice like a dignified person watching TV. Well, you may after this, but pickle pops are actually my favorite go to for summer. Um, I don't have them often, but after a really like hot summer training session, these are amazing. Now, I do want to talk about them. It, this is a singular. They do come in packs of bigger packs if you want. This is just literally the brand name is extra strength pickle juice and it was about two dollars for this one at like a dollar 99 the bigger the packet of course the um, bigger cost savings you have and of course again amazon or your local grocery stores sometimes have it the pickle pops i've only seen online and occasionally i'll see it in the freezer section of like the local uh, publics down here see i saw them at walmart room temperature just on the shelf right next to these really Yep. Well, interesting. Well, they are saying that the pickle martini will be the go-to summer drink of 2023. We'll have to see if that ends up becoming a thing. I could see that being a thing for the record. Yeah. Um, I'm going to send all of that your way. The only time I actually <laughs> used pickle juice is this is going to be part of our um, bougie meals on a budget workshop, but copycat Chick-fil-A at home. Hmm. Pickle juice yeah. is the way to go. I like how, oh, it's D as gray eyed girl saying that she has a jar in the fridge that says do not dump. And Vicky saying, yuck, hard no on pickle juice, which I feel like that's uh, that speaks to your heart. But are you ready to make this happen? No. Yes. If I shake it up, does it make it better? <laughs> I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna take the tiniest sip ever and you should have a little bit more to let your palate actually experience it. I have to try this off camera. It's I'm really so afraid of this. pickly. Oh my God, I just opened it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> and I like pickles. You're going to like it. I feel like I need a deli sandwich. I do want a deli sandwich after this. I love this. This is amazing. This smells like salt and vinegar chips. This smells like dill, dill pickle chips. I love it all the way around. It. <laughs> wait, 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 what were we gonna say before dill pickle? Would you? I was gonna say. I was, I was gonna say dill and pickle together because I feel like that's what my brain's been doing lately. So it's gonna be a dickle. I think. <laughs> oh, you have to. Right, you have to experience right. it. Okay, let's I go. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Okay. You can do hard things. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh my God, it's so good. It is delicious. <laughs> Top five things, the most disgusting things I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> Wait until we're done with this series before you start making declarations. I love it. It's, um... Kira's saying that she has a friend who loves pickle martinis. Well, Kira, she's already... She started the trend, my friend, because it was voted as a potential summer drink of 2023. Mm. Just can't get past that I'm drinking pickle juice. Like, if I have a pickle, I can crunch into it and everything, but... So it's not a flavor thing. It's a textural thing for you. You feel like it should be a chewed item versus... So maybe the pickle pops would be better for you. I think I might just take some pickles in a bag. I could do that. Those would be, I think those end up becoming relish by the time you're done with that run. Well, give me a hot dog and let's call it a day. <laughs> okay, well, Sally's saying she likes pickles, but she doesn't know if she likes to drink. I actually love it for the record. Um, so coach, let's do it. Top five. Uh, uh, <laughs> so starting starting from the bottom, then we're here. Yeah, so five, four, three, two, one. 
All right, so five. Is the pickle? I think I'm gonna have to go pickles five. So sad, pickle, don't worry. I'll make you higher on the list. <laughs> it's a big dill. Yeah, um, oh gosh. I like how you just don't even get my shenanigans anymore. <laughs> like you just go over my joke and don't even <laughs> stop with it. We'll let the folks that are listening in figure out all of your little your little asides. Um, liquid IV is gonna be number five for me. De- definitely did not like it at all as I just- Out of everything, that was your number five? Absolutely, it was gross. Yeah, did not wow. like it. Our friendship might not survive this. Okay. Um, number four for me is going to be the Gatorade. Okay. So the Gatorade for you was the Glacier. The Gatorade Zero. The Glacier Cherry. Yep. That's okay. number four. Because I could at least swallow that. The pickle juice was not getting swallowed. Four for me is noon. So I'm putting that number <sighs> four on the list. Yeah, I did not. I, honestly, it's like almost right there with Liquid IV. Like I definitely not consuming either of these products. I'm, I'm honestly pretty shocked at our polar opposites. I would say three for me is going to be liquid IV. Oh, sheesh. Um, okay, so three is... See, I the last three that I have, I actually enjoy all of them. Um, so I'm going to go with pickle juice because honestly, I probably won't have this day to day. I would have this after a half marathon or after like a double digit long run, but I don't see myself like turning to it after a five mile run or a seven mile run. I mean, again, just put a straw in it. Apparently you would be <laughs> driving down the freeway, sipping on pickle juice. Yes, absolutely. Um, I'd probably say number two is going to be the goo. The goo, okay. The goo tab, right? Which is the, the strawberry lemonade. So I'm gonna have a difficult time with this, but I think I'm gonna go with the fast twitch as my number two. Though I love the fact that it has caffeine in it, so I it's that's it ranks pretty high for me just based off the caffeine. All right. Well, I mean, first and foremost, noon's gonna be number one for me. It's the only one that I can drink on, off the run, all day, every day in a box with a fox in a house with a mouse. Are you going to have green eggs and ham as your post run fuel? I may, Sam, I am. Okay. Which is funny. Ironically, I don't eat eggs or ham, but I'll, I'll make a vegetarian version of it. So of course, glacier cherry is my number one. Like I literally would have this all the time. Never mind. Aye, aye, aye. What do you guys think? Are you guys surprised at all? Or are we just completely odd no, in our they, they differences. Get it. Well, first I mean, of all, we are there's odd. so many folks that love noon that I think I'm definitely in the vast minority for that, but that's okay. It's not the first time that I've marched to the beat of my own drama. I can live with that. All right, folks, with that said, we are excited that you came along for this taste testing journey. We want to hear from you. What do you want us to try next? We've done bars, we've done goos or gels. Um, We've done now hydration. Is there something that's calling to you that you've been intrigued, but you want to have somebody else test try it first? Of course, because, you know, Coach Shelby is always going to be so reserved with her opinion of things. (laughs) I, for real, I don't think I could even try to beat around the bush if I tried. I'm just going to run through the bush and deal with the thorns and all that come with it. What are the thorns that could potentially come from vocalizing your opinion on the taste testing? We do, So what? Well, we don't get a sponsor. No big deal. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We haven't had a picket line in a while. So maybe or if ever, but maybe there's a first for everything. That is true. Well, friends that are listening to this on the podcast, we love to have you here. Friends that are here with us live, we love you guys being in that chat so much and keeping things lively, giving us your opinions here on real time. So thanks for joining on in. We are excited about this weekend's long run. It is a Father's Day special. You guys are definitely going to want to take some tissues with you on that long run because it's a lot of a lot of sweet memories for sure. Um, Your eyes will sweat. Yes, yes. So (laughs) giving you a heads up on that. Of course, you're going to want to sign up for our newsletter if you're not already on it. We've got a really fun invitation that's going to be dropped here probably within the next few days, I should say. And of course, folks that are in the community and on our newsletter get that information first. And then of course, with that, Coach, thanks for test trying all these with me, but we're going to see you guys all again, regardless of when or where, we're going to keep serving up more miles with non-pickle smiles.